Patricia Phelps equation. The Patricia Phelps equation is used when testing polluted waters. It shows how DO, dissolved oxygen, reduces downstream due to LT, also known as BOD, biochemical demand. The equation itself is written out as shown. D, the oxygen deficit, is equal to K1, the deoxygenation rate, by LA, the oxygen demand, all over K2, the reaeration rate, minus K1, the deoxygenation rate. All of that is then multiplied by E, the exponential to the power of minus K1, which is the deoxygenation rate, multiplied by T time. Uh, then we take away E exponential to the power of minus K2, the reaeration rate, by T time. Then at the end of this equation we add DA, the initial oxygen deficit, which is in turn multiplied by E exponential to the power of minus K2, the reaeration rate, by T time. Also it's worth noting that if you want to form a graph, the equation must be written out a number of times each time using a different t value or if 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 it requires it maybe a distance value now to find other values such as d critical the critical oxygen deficit this is the greatest difference between the fully saturated dissolved oxygen concentration and the actual dissolved oxygen concentration the equation is as shown t crit t crit critical time is equal to 1 all over K2 reaeration rate minus K1 deoxygenation rate by log of K2 reaeration rate all over K1 deoxygenation rate multiplied by 1 minus DA initial oxygen deficit which is multiplied by K2 reaeration rate minus K1 deoxygenation rate and this is all over LA, initial oxygen demand, multiplied by K1, the oxygenation rate. DO side curve, dissolved oxygen side curve, is basically after taking away D, oxygen deficit, from DO, dissolved oxygen, saturate, and graphing with respect to either time or distance. The sag in the curve is the critical depth deficit all over the critical dissolved oxygen point on the curve. The other curve is the oxygen demand curve. This follows a logarithmic scale. The formula for it is as shown. LT, the oxygen demand remaining, is equal to LA, the initial oxygen demand, which is multiplied by the ex E exponential to the power of minus K1, the deoxygenation rate, by T time. Again, to form the curve, the equation will have to be used with a number of different times. Here I've given an example of a standard side curve graph. The green line represents the level of a fully saturated sample of water. The red line represents the actual amount of dissolved oxygen in the water. Uh, it's easier to see here now that the difference between these two lines is D, the oxygen deficit. Also you can see on the red line uh, where there is a sag in the curve, this, this is where the point of the critical oxygen deficit is. Finally the blue line represents the oxygen demand curve, which you can clearly see here is on a logarithmic scale.